In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the tight uh, offense in Madden 23. And today we're going to be taking a look at the flooding combination that we're going to use out of this playbook. We're in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook, and we're taking a look at the gun tight formation. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So guys, gun tight. Wanted to do a little mini series here on gun tight, kind of break down some of my favorite plays. And today we're looking at. I think there's five things you need in any offense we looked at yesterday at the pa slot cross kind of our power play from this formation um and then today we are taking a look at our sale concept which is going to be the play bench uh bench is a very versatile play you can run it in a lot of different ways and we're going to show you one of my favorite ways to run this play um, out of the gun tight now what you're going to do with this is you are going to want to run the quarter route or the sale uh concept of this to either side primarily you want to do it to the side where the uh, short side of the field okay you want to flood the short side of the field for a couple of reasons one of those is it's just going to be easier to attack zone coverage cover four and cover three are much worse um, to the short side of the field and so we're going to be able to attack zone coverage better and we're going to be able to a little bit I think more evenly kind of space the field if we do if we do that so uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to streak our left receiver we're then going to take our right side receiver cd lamb you can put him on a post if you have slot apprentice or just put him on a smart routed out route and we're going to motion him to the outside this is going to just kind of help give us a little bit more space uh, with this concept then what i like to do is drag take some hill and then you can do one of two things with the running back you can either go ahead and put him on a uh, little out route or you can put him on a block, or you can put him on a check and release as well. So I normally like to block him in, with the way the meta is this year, kind of facing a lot of heavy blitzes. So I would normally say just block the running back, but you can easily you know, do something like this or something like this. Okay. Our first read on this play is going to be this corner. As you can see right there, it's going to beat cover four to the sideline. And that corner route will also do a pretty decent job at attacking man-to-man -man, which i'll show you right here so again you could do something like this and then against man coverage what you should see here is kind of free form it down and outside and you can click on and go make a play as you can see this is going to be something that you can use uh, to beat man coverage as well so the corner route is really the key route on the play and it kind of build everything else kind of builds around uh, the corner route. Now the next route that, or the next coverage I want to show you this against is cover three. When people see that you're going to tight, you're probably going to see some zone. And again, short side flooding concepts are super good against zone coverage, as you can see right there. Cover three, not able to stop at the outside thirds. Another thing I want to show you about cover four is some people will try to go ahead and baseline and press um, to try to get these quarters to play a little better which they actually will play a little better, but they won't. They still shouldn't be able to defend this. Um, if you highball it, I've noticed that that actually makes us a little bit more consistent. Uh, highballing, you know, down, kind of just giving you an opportunity to go make a play. Now, the one coverage that I do think is kind of interesting in this whole thing is the cover two or the Tampa two. Um, I do think that cover two does have a little bit of potential to be able to kind of hang with this concept interestingly um because the street can't attack deep but typically that corner right as you see right there is going to get over the top of the cloud unless they're putting 30 yard clouds out there in which case that's going to mean they're going to have to double flat uh which i'll show you what we what we do against a defense that is double flatting so if they're double flatting uh, which is just typically called Mabel, double Mabel, right? Uh, where there's just there's a high flat and a low flat, basically. This is really good for stopping a concept like this. But there are some things that we have uh, with this play. So really the main thing that we have is you can throw that drag right there. You can also throw that little backside dig uh, right in there. Depending on how they use or the drag, if they go to the drag early, then you can throw the then you can throw the um, the backside uh, in route because this is another reason why I think the running back is helpful because what the running back is going to do is he's going to pull zones outside 
So he'll pull the zones out to him, and then you can throw in that pocket over in that window where the user should probably be over in the left side of the field kind of taking advantage of what you're doing over there. Now, I did want to spend just a few minutes here on match coverage, show you how to beat match coverage with this. Um, match coverage against tight does work differently depending on where your running back is uh, in the formation. So kind of keep that in mind here. Uh, but typically, if we run this to the left side, we're going to have pretty decent success. As you can see right there, get that corner out. It's going to basically be man coverage. But honestly, one of the best routes, I think, against match is really – going to be this drag route. This drag route to Taysom Hill um, can give you some pretty decent separation uh, against match coverage. As you can see right here, the purple zones just don't play very well uh, this year. And I want to show you one other variation of the concept if you are getting a lot of match. So another variation of this concept if you are getting a lot of match is to run this to the wide side of the field and all you're going to do is motion out your streak. In which case, what you're going to want to do now is your running back is going to turn into an out route. And then what I would recommend is taking that backside dig. And you can either put the dig there or you could make this a curl flat. So you could do a couple little things here uh, with this, but some kind of concept like this. And then what you, if you watch Taysom Hill, it kind of becomes just standard man-to-man. -man, and you can freeform down and outside against that coverage. Gun tight is really versatile. Bench is a very versatile play, but this is how I would recommend running your counter play because PA slot cross is all about the crossing routes. The sale concept is all about the flooding combinations that you can create the rounding of those corner routes to attack the sidelines. If you want to learn more about the gun tight offense, make sure to join my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. $10 gets you access to everything, all ebooks, all updates. So make sure that you go check out the Patreon page.